Quality Entertainment. My name is Anno Caprice. I'm in Denver, Colorado right now. I'm at Gorefest. This is day three. Day one was fire. I just came out to kick it, have a good time. And this is my first time at Gorefest. So it's been a real time. Day two was really dope. I did my first show for Gorefest, did my solo. Uh, and also rocked with the whole GRE crew, which that was really fun. Today is D day three, Sunday. And yeah, like uh, like Scum says, we're in that zombie moment right now. So it's all love. Man, just being in love for the art form of music, period. Believe it or not, my first show was a Prince concert. And uh, just seeing him perform made me feel like, hey, I think I, I kind of want to do something like that. And uh, later, I started seeing show after show, different artists from LL Cool J to uh, Slick Rick, NWA. Uh, later throughout, I ended up hooking up just by freestyling in the bathroom with all the homeboys and stuff. And uh, pretty much just the, the love of it. Love of it got me in this game. First time I, I hit a real studio it was like 1998. And uh, that was with my cousin. We put a group together called Two Trill. And uh, we got together, pieced our money up, found a real studio, uh, Creation Lab, School of Audio. Uh, as one of the engineers that engineered our first project. And we just went in there and started having fun with it. First project was called What You Bring to the Table. And uh, like that first year, the first two years, we sold like probably like a thousand out of the trunk. It's kind of like E40. We had the backpack full of CDs. We didn't have social media at that time. So we just basically stood on the corner and asked people. You know, we didn't have we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have anything like that. All we had was us getting on the street, networking, handshakes and hugs. And that's kind of how it went. That's how it started off. Yeah, COVID hit. Once COVID hit, it didn't stop me. I just continued to keep pushing, keep going forward. I didn't let that slow me down. It didn't cage me in. I ended up dropping several singles. I dropped uh, one called uh, Every Single Day. I dropped that one. Yeah. When I perform my fuck em song, I get a cool response with that because everyone can truly relate to throwing the middle finger up, you know what I'm saying? So it's basically about just throwing the middle finger up to whatever is trying to distract you from what you're trying to do and how you're trying to move forward in life. Uh, basically trying to slow you down, dead weight, you know? So you gotta drop the dead weight so you can rise higher, kind of like a, one of those old hot air balloons, you know, you just drop those sandbags off so you can rise. So Fuck em was basically about that. Uh, my thank you song I performed, that's a, special, that's a special song to me because my 15 year old son made the beat and he was like, Dad, I want you to rock to this style of beat. So I took that time out during COVID, wrote to it, wrote three verses and they challenged me again uh, my son challenged me again. I was like, Dad, you should go ahead and do one more verse on that one. So I went in and dropped the fourth verse. And thank you is all about, you know, my, my haters and my lovers. So that's basically what thank you is about. Just kind of giving a shout out. Yeah. That's my fireball. Yeah, yeah, welcome to my fireball. Hey, that's a great song. Uh, we did a music video for that a couple years ago. And it's basically set on like a house party environment costume party. It was designed for all good people to come together, dress up, put some mask on, paint on your face, have a good time, and through that, Fireball was created. But for some reason when I'm performing, I end up seeing a lot of Fireball shots coming, and that's, that really wasn't what it was about. But for some reason, fireball shots appear, so nice. that, I guess that's a good thing. The studio good, good though. That was a cool experience. I met them, I believe, a couple of years ago. I guess it was a, I don't remember which tour it was, but GRE was in the house and Saint Poetry was there. Uh, my brother D-Rock was in the house. And then that's when I met Studio Ghetto and I just so happened to be performing uh, at this show. And, a lot of good things came out of that. And as we progressed to move forward, show after show, 
Studio Get though kind of got at me and they hit, hit me up and they respected what I was doing and they just said, man, brother, we just want to help you. We want to be a part of whatever you're doing. We're not trying to take nothing away from you. And they asked me to sign with them. I thought it over, looked at all my options and went with it. And that was basically like my second label that I was a part of. And I just went with it and I rocked with them for two years, kept the loyalty up. And now I'm a part of GRE. I believe GRE's seen the same thing in me. And it's just the next level up. And we're just moving forward, continue to keep pushing this music. We did a new single called Explosion, featuring my brother JP. <laughs> Featuring my brother JP, man, and uh, it was a great experience. He came up, which was special to me. He came up all the way from Texas and shot the video. Uh, we tried to start earlier. We didn't want, we really didn't want the rain, but we rain ended up happening, and through that, we uh, created a good, a good video. Actually, it's coming out real soon. I think maybe in a week or two, it should be dropping. It's called Explosion. It's uh, basically the scene is set on classy and rough at the same time. You know, it's basically we're class act type of people, but at the same time, we're gonna shoot it by an old car. We're gonna shoot it in the laundry room. But I don't have a Lamborghini, so I'm not trying to, you know, bring that to the table. But when I do have it, we'll, we'll shoot with that too. <laughs> it's all love. I want to shout out to the damn haters, man. I'll, I thank, I thank y'all, man. I thank y'all for not believing in me. I thank y'all for not wanting to listen to my music. I thank y'all for quitting and giving up. I thank y'all for just talking. I thank y'all for talking because with y'all talking, it, it made me put action to y'all's talking. So with that said, it helped me grow. And in the process, I got love for you too. I still want you to keep pushing like I'm pushing and just keep on moving, man. That's how Unknown does it, so it's all good. I like to say check, check. And to all my unknowns, shout out to my homegirl, my lady, Kerosene. She believes in me when I ever, whenever I doubt myself because I'm hard on myself. Whenever I doubt myself, she pushes me up, continues to tell me to con continue doing what I do. And once I hit the stage, it, everything just becomes very clear to me that this is what I should be doing, this is what I should continue to do. I love the people, I love, I love handshakes and hugs, I love just being honest and open with people and speaking from my heart and being as real as I can be.